Continuing coverage following a Supreme Court ruling, how some see congressional districts being redrawn in the state of Alabama. Go Attorney General Steve Marshall is pledging to push back on Thursday's U.S. Supreme Court decision. Good evening, I'm Pam Huff. And I'm Ariel Bailey. His argument, the Supreme Court order only applies to a small portion of the case. But as that legal challenge pushes forward, state lawmakers must get to work. ABC 3340's Erin Wise has a look at how a second majority minority district could be drawn. This is Alabama's current congressional map. District 7 is the only majority minority district. A second majority minority district required by the Supreme Court could reshape each of the state's congressional districts in some way. Here are some examples of how the districts could look. These maps were prepared by an expert witness for the plaintiffs in the case which went to the Supreme Court. This version shows the density of black voters, red being 0 to 10 percent and green being 60 to 98 percent. These hypothetical maps indicate District 2 could be the new majority minority district. Representative Barry Moore holds that seat. Congressman Jerry Carl, representing District 1 on Alabama's Gulf Coast, said he was disappointed to find Alabama redistricting once again and that two conservative judges joined with liberal judges to overrule Alabama's current map. He added he would fight for South Alabama and will make sure the community stays intact. Representative Terry Sewell said Thursday she was willing to divide District 7 to make a second majority minority district. Regardless of the Supreme Court's decision, Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall said the case is not over. A statement from Marshall's office reads in part, the court made clear that its ruling was based only on a preliminary injunction record compiled in just a few weeks before the district court ruling in January 2022. The Attorney General contends the state is entitled to its full case at trial. It's unclear what action the Attorney General intends to take and when. Lawmakers I've spoken with believe that the map needs to be redrawn in time to be used for the general election in 2024. In Birmingham, Erin Wise, ABC 3340 News. In response to our question regarding when a special session could be called, Governor Kay Ivey's office said they were reviewing the Supreme Court's decision yesterday. We followed up today and did not receive a response.